All right. I realize the reason I'm having a hard time is I'm going off the stupid notes instead of just talking through what I've been thinking. Because content is filler. Content is a term that came from new stuff and production production days and video production the traditional news so they call it news content and it was it was filler it was it was time they had to fill up and to some degree there's a lot of us that are just doing that but i don't think it's everybody and i think it's probably not you like most people think that man i know i want to do stuff creatively and so where's the line what where's the line between what's content what's just filler and and when you're just do when you're doing your thing but it's but it's art like if you're a radio dj is that content or is that art i would argue it's art it's it's it is a job it is a practice but there's everything artistic to it even through the the mechanism the scientific sort of editing and all that stuff that's just hands on and and very much just engineering uh, I'd argue that 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 even the radio DJ and, and especially uh, people putting together shows like this that while being informational are also creative and well thought out and and give a directive and help people and inspire people. I, I think it's the inspirational part. But 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 videos videos is a specific word. You know, it, it, this is what we're making. It's not content made sense if. If you're also talking about your your audio parts or your photos or your editorial, your uh, articles, but when all we're here on YouTube and all we're doing is is watching and making videos, it's safe to say you can say videos, and that's more specific. And not only that, but it, it humanizes what we do. Uh, making content, you're, you know, one could argue that it's. <clears throat> The more money you make on this, the better you are at it. But just because Hawk, Hawk Twa girl is making a lot of money making videos, does that make her more of a professional than somebody who's been doing a long time that maybe only has 500 subscribers or 100 subscribers? So it can't be measured by that, by the income. But you can still humanize the aspect of it by by referring to them what they are as videos it reminds me a lot of how restaurants use the terminology product when talking about food and and it makes perfect sense in the business sense and so for a business owner who's talking about the raw product the the flour the the meat the the eggs and the cooking oils and all these things it makes sense to talk about them ref, refer to them as product <clears throat> but does the chef think of it that way? I mean, the chef's used to referring to it that way because that's how everybody talks. But um, having worked in kitchens, having cooked a lot, having you know been somewhat of a, a, a you know in, into culinary, I, I smoke and make barbecue, and and there's a lot of art that goes into it. There's a lot of heart and soul. There's a lot of effort, a lot of creativity, uh, technique, uh, experience. And to refer to it simply as product, content, is dehumanizing that thing. That thing that's really important. That if we refer to it as food, maybe we, it shifts our perception on, on for one, the waste of it. Because um, restaurants, as we know, they go through so much waste on the front and the back end of the food making process. Uh, spoilage, of course, on the front end. Uh, or accidents. And, you know, spilling food and, you know, wasting ingredients in that way versus on the back end, you know, just wasted plates and overeaten and overordered stuff or big, too big a portions, way too big a portions. How many times have you gone to a restaurant and gotten a meal that's just, it's the cheapest, you know, <laughs> thing that you want, it's the cheapest chicken Caesar salad that they had on the menu, but Jesus, like you only ate a quarter of it or only ate half of it because it was so big. So there's a lot of waste on that end too. And if we talk about it as food, as we keep humanizing these things, don't think of it as product, but as food after it's made or when it's existing, it's food. So that's my urge to you as content, as video makers to think of these things 
in the most human ways and the artistic ways to help inspire you um, to keep doing this. Because right now, these talkies, these sitting down on the couch is the hardest videos for me to make. Um, because I like the process and the doing and all that. And so I get distracted by making my art and forget to stop and, and talk about um, <clears throat> or ask you guys rather. Like, I want to know what are some ways that you uh, keep a grip on the artistic side of your video making. Uh, please mention in the comments down below if you would. And while you're at it, click the like button, share and subscribe. I appreciate it. This has just been a little chat off of stuff off the top of my head, thinking about, you know, content versus art. Um, content just being filler and art is a thing that, oh, side note, uh, I looked up artist and artist specifically is referred to as one who practices in the fine arts, more specifically painting, sculpting, and this and that. The word artiste is designated for those who do the other things, the dancing, the singing, the musician, you know, playing music. Um, I thought that was interesting. So um, until I see you next time, I'm Nathan Gray. Keep arting.